Hi, Cal Penguin's Math Industry here. Today we're gonna have a fraction as a variable. So yeah, we're gonna have to try and use this equation and simplify it so we can understand it better and we can solve it easier. Since that there is a fraction, we're gonna have to multiply the denominator both sides. The thing is, when you say 5 times 3, that would be 15. And 5, 1 over, yeah, 1 times 5, because 5 over 1 is the same thing as 5, that would be a 3. Or actually, that would be a 5. That would equal 3. So yeah, that's when the 3 comes in. The next step is also, is going to be a little bit weird, because people say, do I use the M for 15? Like, do I do 15M, or do I do 3M? You do 3M, because you're going to do 15 divided by 5 is 3, so... We're going to have to divide that by 3, and have 6 multiplied by 5, that would be 3. So, if we put that 30 and shift it down here... We're gonna supposed to get... 10. So, that's what the main point of this fraction thing is. Is this part and multiplying with, by that. Because, back a few weeks ago, when we were first learned this lesson... I used to think 15m, but actually it was supposed to be 3m, because you're trying to solve it first. So yeah, m equals 10. I Because if you're doing 3 over 5, multiply that by 10, that would equal 6. Try it over here. So yeah, if you're gonna wanna simplify this to a mixed number or a proper fraction, because 30 over 5 is an improper fraction, the evidence shows that if you do 30 divided by 5, we would get 6. So this equation right here would make sense. Thank you for watching Taoping AI's math history. Math industry. Like and subscribe. Thank you. See ya.